Hey, what is up, YouTube Oxen family? It is K Rod here. I am back with another good video for y'all today. So, let's talk about the new up and coming female boxer. I don't know if y'all have heard of her, but I figured I give, uh, well, I figured that I show her some love. Miss uh, Nicole Ocasio. Um, she is a uh, up and coming. A professional fighter that's gonna make her debut very soon um i believe she's out of puerto rico but she resides out of tampa florida i believe she's from carolina puerto rico if i'm not mistaken but good fighter um i like like um um i like um everything um out of her she has a very good style uh, I want to say she fights at lightweight, not too sure, uh, but as far as from what I've heard, um, she does campaign around that weight, but I'm not so sure about what she, you know, um, plans to do, you know, in, um, in the coming future, uh, but I guess uh, depending on what she wants to do for her professional career, then um, I, I'm down to see whatever, so... Uh, she's, uh, a, a, um, orthodox fighter, and as far as the amateur background goes, I believe she's a five-time national amateur champion, and I believe she, uh, became a Golden Gloves, um, uh, national champion, if I'm not mistaken, so, uh, good props to her. I mean, you know, like I say about, you know, any other athlete, that comes out of the amateurs, it's not, you know, the end all be all guarantee that you're going to be the best in the world because you got to prove it to me, you know, out here, you know, well, you know, especially in my, like, um, like, like, um, especially to my eyes, um, as a boxing, um, um, analyst, but just in any sport, you know, um, you can't just walk into the sport and just say that, you know, just because you got, you know, all these, you know, accolades and credentials means that, you know, in the pros, you know, you're going to be dominating everybody. So, um, I don't think that's going to be the case for, uh, Nicole, uh, just by looking at how she fights, she fights very, uh, conventional. Um, I will say she has a really, really good punch placement, very, very similar to almost like a, well, to any female fighters. She has a little bit of a Belinda Laracuente, and then she has a small shade of, um, hmm. She has a small shade of, man, who's that other lady? She was a good Puerto Rican fighter, too, but I don't want to say Ada Velas because that might be pushing it, but I guess if you want to put her in the ballpark with almost like a young version of her, Mixed with a little bit of, um, of, uh, man, who is that other Puerto Rican lady? I keep forgetting of her. Oh, maybe Melissa Del Val? It Like, yeah. Yeah, because she kind of reminds me of her, but obviously not entirely. But she's basically a very good all-around boxer puncher. Very technical. Has amazing defense, by the way. So, I mean... Don't be surprised if she'd be coming out like, you know, like a mini, hmm, I don't even want to say, you know, you know, any male fighter out of uh, the lightweight division, because obviously, you know, we got to see how she's going to do um, in the pros, but I think she's going to dominate. I think she's going to light everybody up in the professional rankings, and I think she's going to be, you know, unstoppable. She, she, she's going to basically come to a point where nobody's like you know nobody's not gonna mess with her and she's gonna have so much you know leverage you know with her style and just by you know analyzing you know some of her fights she can fight you know she she has really really great ring iq too but um nah man you know i just wanted to show out you know my support from the fellow you know you know black man like myself support of my bloodline, you know, my heritage, so I just wanted to uh, give you guys a little bit of, you know, insight, you know, for her. Obviously, you know, she uh, she isn't known now, but 
definitely later on in the future um she'll uh, uh she'll definitely be you know creating you know a um a, um a lot of buzz um as far as her being the future for Puerto Rican female boxing I'm not so sure because I mean yeah she is 21 but at the same token it's like there are some other good, you know, Puerto Rican female fighters. Um, not so sure, you know, where, you know, in that particular um, aspect where they can land. But as far as other fighters that I could think of, I mean, we can just go to the Puerto Rican female, you know, world, you know, boxing uh, or world, you know, box rec section. But let's just start from... Hmm... I don't know, man, because I really don't know that many Puerto Rican female fighters just to be active. Mm, I don't know, because I want to say that that there's other female fighters that I could think of, but I mean, like the fighters that I can think of off the top of, you know, like my head would be that one chick, uh, Vivian Velazquez, which I don't know what's happening with her. I, I hope everything's well with her and she gets back in, um, you know, in, um, into the mix. Uh, there was Stephanie Pinheiro, but I don't know what's happening with her. I think, I think she hasn't been able to do what she wanted to do lately. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, there's really not that many females that I could really think of. I mean, there's Carla Torres at 130, but that's about it. I mean... Yeah, I, I, I really don't know, man. I mean, hopefully, you know, we get to see more females. I mean, there's this girl, Camry Matos Vargas. I don't know too much about her, but hopefully she is doing good. But, yeah, I mean, hmm, damn. Actually, yeah, you know, I definitely have to say, Puerto Rican female boxing is a very small pool of uh, competition. But as far as her skills go for Miss uh, Nicole Ocasio, I think she's going to be fine. She's going to, you know, do what she has to do and just go in there and just keep, you know, developing. And I and I would say this is a good, you know, time for her to, to do it now rather than do it later. Because um, I didn't know what, what her goals were as far as wanting to be up there in the... Uh, I guess the amateur um, Olympic level, because I believe she had said in the past that she wanted to get up there in, you know, the um, Olympics for Puerto Rico, but I'm not so sure about that. But, you know, I guess if she um, if she was wanting to do that, she she probably had a plan, but then she wanted to make that, you know, decision change to just go, you know, right into the professionals. So, Either way, good for her, and I hope she does very well, and I hope she, uh, you know, you know, becomes another face of Puerto Rican female boxing, because uh, she definitely earned a fan of me, and a supporter in her, uh, shout out to Kano Loco Sports, but yeah, she, she is heavily talented, man, um, it's gonna be very interesting to see how she's gonna, you know, um, um, evolve and upgrade her skills and talents, you know, in, in the professional boxing, uh, section. And I don't think she's going to, you know, have that much trouble, um, adapting. I think she's already good enough to, you know, what she could show to you to create enough separation to beat up a lot of ladies. And, uh, I mean, if she's going to compete, you know, like, obviously, you know, um, as far as her competition goes for, you know, the lightweight division or whatever division that she's going to campaign. But let's just say if she does go to, you know, the lightweight division, there's really not that much smoke, you know, in the division itself. But I will say the names that she'll probably have some uh, good, good, good wars with will probably be, hmm, I don't know. I mean, Chiara Dituri, that, that'll be a fight that she could beat up. Caroline Dubois, she'll definitely see her if they ever see each other. And, I mean, after that, I mean, hmm. Yamila, she'll probably be around. 
Uh, she's a decent fighter. Obviously not the best fighter. But that's a good fight to see. Anisha Bashil, definitely. Even though that she's uh, been beat up back and forth. But, I mean, not a bad fighter. She's heavily young, you know, in the game. Obviously, she lost to Chantel Cameron in the past. But uh, ever since then, uh, you know, nothing really, you know, um, interesting out of her. But, um, I mean, as far as, you know, her competition goes, it's really wide open. It's, like, the only people that you have to, like, really worry about would probably be Caroline Dubois. And I would probably say Diana um, Estrada because she can definitely hit. And I think Diana Estrada, she's going to be, like, that mini version of, um, how should I say? Hmm. Honestly, like, I don't like comparing female fighters to male fighters, but... She has, like, a Raul Marquez-ish type of style. You know what I'm saying? Like, come forward, have a have a strong frontal base of pressure, you know, of what people would call Mexican style, but I just call it, you know, you know offensive pressure style boxing. And uh, as far as how she presents her separation, she's more of what the brawler inside fighter type, but... As far as what she could present in the future, she's definitely going to be wanting to knock somebody out in the ring. But as far as outboxing her, I don't know about that. You have to have some form of ring IQ along with proper punch punch placement to, to create the separation in the fight itself to offset her and to make her respect you. And then she can't do anything, and then she'll be immobilized. And then if you could break her down to the body, and then do those little pot shots, like pat, pat, and then basically dip in, dip out, not come out of like a Philly shell type of fighting, but come out of like a good conventional, you know, very, 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 uh, very sharp type of uh, precision style type of fighting. But I don't know. I mean, honestly... There's really not that much smoke I could really see to become a problem. I mean, yeah, Terry Harper will become an issue in the uh, um, in the uh, division. But um, anybody beyond that, I mean, there's Maria Monio. Estelle Mosley, I don't think she's going to, you know, stay around for that long. Uh, just mainly due to her frame. She, she, she looks more of like a super lightweight, welterweight type of fighter. But, I mean, if she could campaign at lightweight, she could definitely become a good you know style matchup for a lot of ladies that want to fight her but anybody beyond that uh i mean there's uh verena kaiser i don't really think she's that good i mean she she uh she's good for what she can present but but you know put her put her in there with somebody that that you know that isn't going to give her breathing room she can't you know develop you know the proper uh separation and a fight to show to me that she could still try to outbox you, and then she can't, you know, handle pressure. And I just don't think she's gonna be up there. But but uh, but that's gonna be interesting to see what she's gonna do in the future. Um, f- uh, fighters like uh, Miriam Gutierrez, I don't really think she's gonna stay around for that long. But she'll probably be a fight for some of you know what the younger ladies like Nicole or Caroline. And I mean, there is Caitlin, Caitlin Phelan, right? Yeah, uh, there's that Irish chick that I talked about in the past. She, uh, she isn't bad. I mean, hmm, I don't know, man. Oh, wait, did she move up? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. I I could be wrong uh, of what the wrong person, but yeah, there's a, uh, there's this one Irish girl that that fights at lightweight um and i think her name is caitlin Phelan, if i'm not mistaken but also there are um uh there's also um uh, um whatchamacallit there's also um other fighters like rhiannon dixon and then who else hmm nobody else that i could really think of i mean you know this division is very weak so i don't really know that many female fighters that i probably had probably had missed off of off of this potential list but i mean yeah this division is pretty weak and pretty wide open 
uh, for the future. But if Nicole ever decides to go up to super lightweight, uh, minus Chantel Cameron, minus Kaylee Reese, minus Mary McGee, and Jessica Camara. But I think the super lightweight division is the best way to go because there's so much open opportunity to take out a lot of these girls. And I think the only, you know, uh, the only, uh, the only threats that I could see generating out of this division would be girls like Destiny Jones and who else? Mm. Yeah, I don't think that's, uh, I want to say that's about it, honestly. Probably Destiny Jones and who else? Uh, I know that there's Miranda, uh, Miranda Reyes, but I don't think she's gonna do anything. But, then again, I, you know, I, um, I'm just being biased, but. <laughs> uh, man, I'm sorry, but. Yeah, I mean, other than that, nothing really special, man. I mean, she's definitely gonna be doing some good stuff. And I, I like to see her fight Ida Biggs, you know, that'd be a good fight somewhere down the line. She's a good fighter, by the way, but uh, she hasn't been in the ring since August. Come on, man. Damn, that's just terrible. But, um, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I'm definitely going to cover this after I make this video about Butaev and uh, Stan Jonas. So that's going to be a damn fire, fire video. Yep, Russia versus, man, what country is Stan Jonas from? I think he's from Estonia or Lithuania. But either way, Russia versus Lithuania don't fucking matter. That's going to be a Soviet war. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think about her. I think she is going to be the goods for Puerto Rican female boxing. Obviously, Puerto Rico doesn't have that many female fighters worldwide to, you know, to uh, compete enough. So... Um, it's good to, you know, uh, be behind, you know, you know, the females that actually do work hard minus <laughs> a couple that aren't even that good. And, you know, they just talk shit, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all know who I'm talking about, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Also, um, I'm going to probably make a video on Zarina. Um, I'm going to be talking about her upcoming fight down in Mexico. So, you know, be tuned or uh, uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it, man. So I'm going to cut her, um, um, I'm going to come out with Stan Jonas and Butev next. And then we're going to probably talk about Zarina and that's about it. All right. So I'll see y'all later. Have a good day and shout out to the mighty, mighty. L D B C peace and I'm out you.